What's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Inside Jokes RV. This is yours truly, Joe Shelton. Hey, this is going to be a DIY project that you might want to tackle in your rig. Let's check it out. All right, this next project is gonna deal with this right here. And I, I want y'all to listen to this real quick. Real faintly, you can hear, I don't know if it's gonna pick up, but you can hear, it's like the CD motor is spinning or running. Even though I'm trying to, I cut it on, I hit eject button, nothing is happening. So this has been, I believe this has been the culprit for my battery dying. I noticed this when I did the tailgate from Tennessee State Homecoming. I had it parked in my house and I was cleaning out and I went back a couple of hours later to finish doing some things. And I came out, I kept hearing this noise and it was this running. So I don't know what it is. So I've gone on forums and just things. People tell me they said these radios don't really last that long. Then also when it was working, I couldn't set the clock. And it was real, just real quirky, you know. And again, this is 2014 technology. So this is a 10, 11 year old, 12 year old technology here. So. I thought about uh, research, so I'm trying to get this replacement. There's some other models, there's the Jensen models, the Kenwood models out here to replace this. And they were four or five hundred dollars. Found a used one for maybe two, three hundred dollars. And I was like, no, nah, I don't think for, you know, I don't think I'm going to spend that much. And the key is to those other auto, um, those other uh, units where they say that they are plug and play ready. Which means on this RV, I have a left. When I do the turning signal, the, the there's a camera on. Uh, you see right under this uh, passenger side uh, mirror, there's a camera. So when I turn, getting ready to turn right, it pops up. That camera pops on it, sort of give me a side view of the rig on the right side, passenger side. When I turn left, it's the same thing on the left side, just sort of give you an idea of your blind spots in, as you know you're trying to change lanes and things like that. Then also when you go in reverse, it shows you uh, the reverse. So the main thing they say with those units were is just getting almost plug and play. So you take this out and you just almost plug and play into the new unit without major um, splicing wires and things like that. But from those reviews, none of them were really just simple plug and play except getting this one. So they say if you got that Jensen or the Kenwood, whatever model, you had to do some type of cutting and splicing things to get it to work. So if I'm gonna do some splicing, some cutting things like that, why spend that much money on this where well, I can get a cheaper unit that does the same thing? All right, this is what I got. I got this off of Amazon. This was like $40. And the reason why I got this one was I I had um I bought this back in the spring and I installed it in a 2006 Cadillac and I'm familiar with it and I hook it up really no issue. So I just went back and got this same one. So let's unbox it and just see what we got here. Here's your user manual. Good thing it comes with a remote. You got your your mounting harnesses. Good thing with this, it comes with a rear view camera. And I did install this on the uh, Cadillac. Looks like a couple of little mounting brackets there. All right, and there it is. Look how thin it is. And I noticed that with the uh, the other one, it's that thin. It's not real big and bulky. It's got your connections on the back. Plugs right there. 
and it's thin. So, this was $40. Comes with remote control, a reverse camera. All right. Also, what I did researching, I would need this uh, vo uh, video switcher. This was also probably almost the same price as the radio, maybe $40. This is what you're going to need to hook up, well, I hope to hook up the left turn. When I hit the left turn, the right turn, and the reverse. It sends this signal into the radio to know which one, so it'll pop up on the screen right here. All right. So, uh, the good thing about this, and this, uh, I got, I'm going to experiment with something. This is a four way video switcher. So you have your left, your right, and your reverse. So that's one more. And now, with this radio, it comes with a reverse camera. So my idea is, I already have a reverse camera. So my idea is to install this camera maybe somewhere on the front. Maybe at the top or at the front, and and use these cameras as sort of a security system. Like when I'm inside, parked at a rest area or boondock, and I got all my curtains and blinds down. With this switcher, I can I'm able to switch to whichever camera I want. So I, I can switch to the left side. I can look down, switch to the right side. Hit the reverse, and I can switch to the front. So I'll be able to see what's happening inside the RV with all my curtains and everything closed. So that's what I'm gonna experiment with. So, so got the radio, got the switcher. I did go ahead and buy this little uh, multi-installation kit. This was like $10 because um, it's a Ford. So, you know, General Motors trying to get this bracket up in there. So. So those are the things I think I'm gonna need for that. So we're gonna jump right into it and see where this leads. And again, let me say this, I am not a professional. This is just how I'm doing it. So please, you know, if you wanna try to do this yourself, this is sort of a how I'm doing it. So please consult if you're not comfortable working with wires and radio systems and things like, please take it to a, a, a certified technician but this is just for how i'm doing it in case somebody wants to tackle it themselves all right let's get into it all right i don't know what happened with my gopro audio so here we go right now i'm about to take out the radio in the rig and you see these two little there are two little holes on each side of the radio you take this little wire uh looks like a u type thing you put in those two holes and you release the radio from the tabs that's holding it to the dash so what i did i took a old skewer for s'mores marshmallows I had in the RV and I trimmed them and cut them into that U shape so I could pull that radio release those tabs to pull the radio out all right you see those things work for me uh, these are the tabs that you have to release inside the dash to get that radio to slide on out and uh, so now our next thing is to get in to get the harnesses disconnected and see which wires go where All right, here's the harness that uh, I already cut it from uh, that you pull out of the back of the radio. And it's sort of self, if you ever hooked up radios before, all this is sort of be self explanatory. On the top part right there, that purple, the green, the white, and the gray are your speaker wires. And at the bottom part of that tab, you have your power, you have your constant, you have your 12 volt, you have your ground. And you see right there, that little constant had a little cut in it and I think that might have been touching against that metal inside of here and that might have been an issue why that thing was running or shorting out maybe so that could have been my issue right there but anyway we're going to go on keep on going with the install all right here's the harness for the new radio and you see those are very common speaker wires the purple green, white, and gray, that now I'm going to connect to the one that's coming out of the dash.
All right, here is the factory radio that I removed, taking it home now. I'm going to do a little more exploratory look at it. And uh, see how I open it up. Here are the camera leads that were plugged inside of the radio. Those little tabs there were plugged inside. I opened it up and just simply unplugged them. And so now I'm going to try. My thought is I possibly could splice those wires and use those wires to for my new connection because that's not a common um, something you just find anywhere around. I would have to order though that uh, mail in to go probably from Amazon. I'm gonna put a picture and a link of the the uh, adapter that you could use. But I'm being a little cheap. Um, and so if I had to buy three of those things, they're like $25 each, and that's $75. So I'm going to try the frugal route. I'm going to try to reuse these, splice these ends, and see if I can make those work. All right. Here are the cables that I pulled from the old Jensen radio. All right. These were plugged inside the radio, and they came out and connected to the camera end that's in the dash. All right. So these are the cameras. So I'm assuming this was another harness that was with that. So I'm going to assume this is the signal that lets the triggers the cameras on. So I'm going to assume one of these is left, right, and reverse. And when you turn your left signal on, <coughs> it sends signal to uh appropriate camera and left right i'm sorry left right and reverse so i'm going to assume so we're going to do it uh look up try to find some diagrams online i think i found one but nothing is really just clear and cut so we're going to do some exploratory i'm going to snip this end off and uh, i'm going to try to uh put it in reverse left and right and see i've got my my multimeter somewhere here and see which one of these gives me power to so we're gonna start with that find out which one of these is for first all right let's right, do this one at a time let's start with the blue one got that one stripped here is the corresponding link in there so let's connect this it goes like that and we're just gonna see here's my and i have no idea what to set it on i'm just gonna put this to a ground somewhere and just see which one of these get some power? All right, so let's do left signal is on. Right signal. Let's see, hold on, let's try. This is not AC, let's go to AC. And I'm learning how to work. I'm not quite sure how to work this thing, but I got an idea, so I'll try it again. Put it in reverse. Back in park. All right, guys, after about 30 minutes of exploring this, all right, we found these are three wires. If you take out uh, from that Jensen that are going into the back of that uh, factory Jensen system, this is what it is the green is your trigger for your right or your passenger side turning signal. The brown is for your left driver's side and the blue is reverse. So when you turn the green, uh, turn your right signal on, sends current through that. So that's gonna click on to let you know to, to turn the camera on. So these are the triggers for those uh, device. Green for the right, brown for the left, blue for reverse. All right, y'all, another momentous occasion. I figured out, I think I've got this switcher and I'll put the description in this, but I think I've got it figured out. 
All right, so I just got this as the little sample camera. I just got to just test things out. So. got it connected to the left I mean the left turn signal now let's hit it and you see the camera comes on hey we getting we got the wiring part figured out so let's get to the next part we got to figure out which one is for these right here all right all right y'all I got that factory spliced up and as you can see I've got them figured out I've got it figured out this is major y'all you've got this wiring wiring thing all figured out all right all right let me explain what I'm doing here again let's break it down here's the Okay, but I pulled from the Jensen radio. This is plugged up in there, that little part. So, that's what I'm doing. I'm cutting that part off. All right, strip that down a little bit. All right, guys, as I said before, if you wanna avoid this step, here is the adapter that you can order. You can completely avoid this whole step by just simply ordering this little female adapter right now. So uh, it's on Amazon, it's $24. You can do that and um, plug right into the uh, male part that's in the dash and plug that other end right into your video switcher. Again, I went the cheap route. I tried to save $75 and it actually worked. So, but if you don't want to avoid this one step, go ahead and order those other little pieces and uh, It'll take out about 35 to 40 minutes on this complete job. And once you strip it out, you're going to see this little cotton insulation type stuff. I'm going to cut that off. Cut those little. Then there's another little just loose wire. That right there. I think that's more or less some type of grounding thing. Also, I'm gonna cut that. Now you're left with four of these wires. You got a, a white one, sort of a clear one, a red one, and a black one. All right, red is gonna be power to your camera black one is the ground and these two here are your video feed all right so let me show you what i'm doing again i'm not an electrician i'm not an rv technician this is i'm just showing you what i'm doing and it's working for me so all right so that's that end of that connector so there's just an rca cable i had if you go you go get any rca cable cut that in so then I'm going to split this in. I'll strip this in. Reveals two wires here. I'm going to strip those a little bit. Strip the insulation off that. All right. Got those stripped. All right. Where's the one I just did? All right. So let me strip these over here off that four pin got those strips so here's the four pin there's a tool here so I'm connecting the white to the white then I've connected this sort of clear one from the four pin to the blue then this red power let me get a little more stripped off of that one. It's going to go to this is for the connector. Now I'll show you more about that connector in a little bit. So this is the right. So that goes to the right.
And I'm just doing this as a, you know, of course, take your time, use these solder wire connections, make sure your connections are good. I'm just doing this to show you. So I got those three. And then I get a, for that negative, I got some little spare wire. I'm gonna cut a little bit of that off the ground strip that That's what that connection is going to look like. So, what you do, you're going to plug this into this switcher. This end goes into the connection that's inside the dash and to whichever camera you connect it to. So, you got to make sure you connect them to the left to the left, right to the right, and rear to the rear. So, that's my wire configuration. So, now let's go. We're going to go ahead and sort of make these connections a little better these uh, solder but that's how I connect and I've gotten it work for me all right all right guys right here I've got all of my connections figured out I've got them sort of tentatively connected and now I'm going to take you through the sequence of showing you that they all work so here I got my radio playing to say you're driving along you're getting ready to do a right turn you see the camera pops on now I'm about to do cut it off Goes back to the radio now. I'm about to do a left turn signal. And you see the left camera comes on. And now I'm about to put my foot on the brake and put it in reverse. And you see the reverse camera is now on. All right, guys. So this project, um, it's going to take you a solid day. Uh, maybe a couple of days to start and finish and get everything tidied back up and put back together because I have yet still have put all the cables and cords back in there. So it's going to take you one solid day, let's say a couple of days to get it all completed and tidied up. Um, hardest part again is just figuring out which wire goes where. Um, I searched on online for a diagram. Um, no, nothing that, that I found that really sort of laid it out for you where it's just going to just you know exactly which wire to go to but knowledge from basic radio installation is helpful and the difficult part is just figuring out those camera wires and trying to use the the connections that are already there in the rig so uh, again thanks for watching leave me a comment don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel and if you're just trying to tackle this and you want a little more uh, detail uh, of what I did. I, I might possibly try to draw up a diagram with all the connections to make it easier for someone who's trying to do this. But leave me a comment and I'll be definitely can give you uh, some uh, more detailed tips of what I did. All right. Peace. See y'all on the next one. Me and my